Good evening and welcome to the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You're with me, Azar Zahid Karim. Let's take a look at our headlines. Basil Rajapaksa resigns. Australia defeats Sri Lanka by three wickets. Pushpa Rajapaksa leaves for the US. Demand for passports up by 250%. UN calls for over US dollar 47 million for life-saving assistance. Court issues enjoining order preventing CEB engineers trade union action. Now, diving into our lead stories. SLPP National List MP Basil Rajapaksa resigned from his parliamentary seat today. Parliament sources stated that Mr Rajapaksa met Parliament Secretary General Dammika Dasanayaka this morning and handed over the resignation. Sergeant at Terms Narendra Fernando also confirmed that Mr Rajapaksa had met the Secretary General of Parliament. Sri Lankan batters failed to fire for the second consecutive T20 match against Australia and managed 124 for 9 in Colombo after the visitors won the toss and chose to field yesterday. The reigning T20 champions chased down the target with three wickets to spare to seal the three-match T20 series. Airport sources stated that former Finance Minister Basil Rajapaksa's spouse has left the Katunaika International Airport for the United States via Dubai this morning. They said Pushpa Rajapaksa will first fly to Dubai on transit at 3.15 a.m. by Emirates Airlines. The department's deputy controller and media spokesperson Piyumi Bandara stated that there is a 250% increase in the passport issuing process daily at the Immigration and Emigration Department and there is no shortage of material to make passports to meet the demand. She said that there is no shortage of material to issue passports and the stock in hand is sufficient to manage the demand for more than six months. The United Nations team in Sri Lanka and non-governmental organizations launched a joint humanitarian needs and priorities plan today. The agency called for US dollar 47.2 million to provide life-saving assistance to 1.7 million people worst hit by the economic crisis over a four-month period from June to September. The Colombo District Court today issued an enjoining order preventing the Ceylon Electricity Board Engineers Union, its office bearers and its members from preventing supply of electricity to the general public as a result of engaging in any strike or trade union action. For further details on these stories, visit our website www.dailymirror.lk. You're with me, Azar Zahid Karim. This was the Daily Mirror News Roundup.